Hello, Frenetics. This is Chema Molina, and today I'm going to, to talk about a new article I have been reading. Uh, following the publications uh, about planar transformers, I mean, last week we were talking about the, the half turns of uh, this article uh, in the transaction that was explaining how to use half turns and still getting the same uh, tune ratio. And, um, and this week we are going to uh, follow the same um, the same idea of planar magnetics. I mean, the, actually, the, the the initial idea uh, coming from the Madrid transformer from uh, Fred Lee in this article here. But we are moving to China now. Uh, I'm going to talk today about this uh, article that this has been written by. Yusin Li, that was born in Hubei, in China, in 1995, very young engineer, and, um, and in the University of Zhejiang University, where he's uh, currently toward the PhD. Well, the interesting point of this article is that uh, it's an LLC converter, but uh, it's talking about uh, and a structure of the converter and the transformer that is very interesting. Here you can see that they propose to work in a parallel uh, parallel input. I mean, they have this two bridge, I mean, this resonant two bridge in parallel and the output in series. Then the first problem they, they find is uh, the current setting between the two uh, I mean, the two parallel inputs and uh, and this is something that uh, they comment during the article before I also would like to comment that they focus in this topology uh, highlighting that is uh, very useful when you are in an unregulated systems when you have the input one output voltage is more or less fits and you don't have to to have uh, a, a regulation at the end and they, they focus in a non-regulated systems. And, um, well, I'm going to explain this point of the current setting that it is really important and then come back to the transformer. Here, it, in order to keep the current setting uh, equally between the two parallel inputs, they uh, connect both windings with a wire. Then they realize that there's a lot of circulating currents and then they add an inductor in order to in increase the impedance in the, in the connection. Okay, this is very interesting and very important, but you know that uh, I'm always focusing on the magnetic parts. Then uh, the most important related with high frequency magnetic here is the, the idea of the coupled uh, transformers. I mean, these two windings, uh, they work in the, in the couple and here, well, they explain the same concept that, that we have seen in other papers and flat cancellation. I mean, you have two windings, then you can avoid to use one leg if uh, there is cancel, uh, flat cancellation. Then this is what they use, uh, they propose here. Then with this concept, they uh, create uh, this, well, the, the idea with the two, I mean, two windings in parallel. This is a very low uh, in inductance uh, in terms of size and value because uh, there is no much more current. And uh, something important to highlight is they work in the transformer, but the inductors, resonant inductors are uh, external inductors because they uh, use a planar transformer. And here you can see that the solution is to use uh, this uh, transformer for, I mean, with the two windings, and, but here they have the two inductors. That means that, well, they are not trying to integrate the, the operation of the inductance inside of the transformer, and also because it is not possible for them. I mean, the leakage inductance that they have here is 50 nano -endries. I mean, uh, here you can see, 50 nano um, And the the, they use a material from DMEC, from the China DMR95, um, and the total power density achieved is 33 watts per cubic inch. Um, 
something really interesting to reduce the cost they use the same PCB for its uh, winding is a uh, four uh, layers PCB uh, with four terms of primary and secondary and then they connect the PCB you will see here three PCBs uh, in series and in parallel, for example, here you can see that the input is everything is in parallel. They, they have four uh, turns here, four, 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 and all of them is in parallel. Then they have four, twelve combination, and then here again they have four, four, four in parallel and and uh, and in par I mean with the whole everything in parallel. Then at the end they have um, in series here. 12 and 12, uh, 24, and here in parallel 4. Then it's 1, th one 3 total uh, tune rate regulation. Uh, they made a simulation showing the results of the couple transformer or separate transformer, no much more different in the finite element analysis simulation. And finally, I'm going to end with the um, losses comments. Uh, in terms of percent, the, co the losses in the core loss, I mean the core loss, winding loss, and the core loss and winding loss in the inductors uh, are, uh, are extremely high from my point of view, the losses in the resonant inductors, and, but are very well balanced between core and winding, uh, showing that there is a big tune ratio relation, then uh, it's something really interesting. Uh, it could be because of the planar transformer structure that uh, is very interesting in this result. Uh, well, uh, as I said at the beginning, very high efficiency, 97.5% at peak here in 70% um, of the output power. And um, of course, they, they comment all the, they reference all the Lee uh, articles and for the matrix transformer. If we compare the 33 watts of um, inch cubic of the power density with the results of the last uh, week uh, article, here this one, they have a table here, you will see that, uh, that they, they are a little bit lower compared with these solutions. But there is something very important that is in this case, these people is working a, just a one point of flow solution, one megahertz and, uh, and uh, one kilowatt uh, designs. And in this case, uh, they are working at 3.6 kilowatts, 200 kilowatts. I mean, it's a more industrial point. It's something more close to the reality of industrial solutions that the people is really using in their day to day work. But uh, even it's not about 33 watts uh, per uh, inch, uh, I mean per centimeter. Okay, then thank you very much for watching this video. I have uh, wrote an article about the, this, uh, this summarizing this, this paper that you can find in the comments. Thank you, bye.